very excited and, and kind of anxious to get back on the floor. We, you know, we started, Mike, in, in uh, June and July, and we, we got out a little bit, then we had, uh, we had to shut it down. We had a couple of guys get, get the virus, but we had an opportunity to look at our freshmen uh, you know, and I think whenever you look at our team this year, you're thinking, well, it's a veteran club. And, and that's what you always are excited about when you're coming into a season. Do you have a veteran club? Do you have seniors? Do you have juniors that have performed well? And, you know, you know, it's easy to look and see, okay, who's our top eight? That's easy to figure out. And then we have five freshmen, all of whom, quite frankly, Mike, are talented enough to play. But uh, anytime you have a veteran group with the returning player of the year, returning first team All-American, that's cause for excitement. Well, let's go a little deeper on him. What are your expectations this year for Luca Garza? Well, I think he's going to be better than he was last year, which is saying quite a bit because I've never been around anybody who works harder than him. So I think what you're going to see is a guy who really stretches the floor with his three-point shot. He's shooting with great confidence, and that makes him that much harder to guard because he's never in the same place. We're going to move him around. I think you saw him last year, Mike. He really improved defensively. How he guarded ball screens, how he protected the rim, his awareness and recognition and transition defensively, his talking and communication was spectacular. So it's just really a credit to him and how he's worked on his game to continue to improve. So just to terrify the rest of the country, um, he's a National Player of the Year candidate. You've never seen anybody work harder than him. He's getting better at defense, and he might be more productive than last year. This is – we're watching something remarkable. When he's done with this year, give me an idea of the impact Luca's going to have had on this Iowa Hawkeye program, historically speaking. And I think that's a great point, Mike, because we have a great tradition here with great teams, great players, and great coaches. He has a lot to shoot for. You know, I think Roy Marble's career scoring record looked like it was untouchable for quite some time, and Lucas should get that. The interesting thing for him is how he has been received and recognized nationally, but how he's been received in this community and how people compare him to those who came before. And, and you're right, he's probably going to rewrite the record books. Hopefully, it will be attached to a great team accomplishment because that's really the only thing he cares about anyway. Well, you mentioned the team and, and the thing that is so great, it's not just that you have this superstar, but my goodness, do you have depth. You've got so many shooters, you've got experience, but you might even have more depth than people imagine because – Jordan Bohannon could be the force that he's been his whole career, that he wasn't last year due to his injury. Your son Patrick was one heck of a recruit. We barely got to see him due to health issues. Those two specifically, when will you get a good sense on the health of them in terms of being able to play and help the team this year? Well, the, the great thing about Jordan is, is he's in the best shape he's ever been in. And what's scary to think about for him is how well he played two years ago on two bad hips Last year on one bad hip, he's healthy, but I think he's recognized what he needed to do for his body. He's lean and fit and in incredibly experienced and, and just absolutely fearless. And one of the best shooters maybe will be the leading three-point shooter in Big Ten history, which is quite a statement. You know, Patrick, uh, is, we, we got him over 200 pounds. That was the thing for him, getting his strength, figuring out his medicine, obviously, you know, from his, his previous health issues. Uh, but he has really worked hard through this pandemic period. Before we let you go, you know, nobody's able to predict the future in this crazy world we're in. So we don't know exactly what the season's going to look like. It won't be normal. But at the minimum, what do you want it to be? I think the great thing about the Big Ten, Mike, is how competitive every game is. Even if we don't have fans, even if we have some fans, I think you'll see an incredibly competitive game every night because I think one through 14, you know, we're really stacked. I said last year it was the best it's ever been since I've been in the league. This year will be even better, in my opinion, because there are veteran teams, but then there are young up-and-coming teams, and I think that makes it fun. Fred McCaffrey, always great catching up. Thanks, man. Thanks, Mike. Oh,